Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tony Coleman, and today I want to talk to you about a few different options that kids have to make income um, using mobile devices or, or other concepts. Uh, I think it's very important to teach your children early about being an entrepreneur, um, especially when most kids right now are probably locked in the house, not allowed to go out to the park or a library. Most of them aren't in school. So they're probably sitting around the house binge watching TV shows or playing video games. And um, traditionally, uh, most kids have been encouraged to like mow lawns, s shovel snow, wash cars, uh, even babysit. Um, some just do chores around the house to earn their allowance, but it's not really uh, the same thing when when uh, when they've got an allowance. It's not really you're earning your your paycheck sort of thing. I know most kids don't associate it the same. However, with the coronavirus going on, um, this is a a hard time for kids to go out and earn those because even like a lemonade stand, which rarely makes any real money, but you know, gives the kid something to do. Can't really do that with a virus going on. So with them shut up in the house, you, you got to get creative and uh, teach them a few other things. So I'm going to run over a few things they can do at home. Uh, they can earn them a few bucks a day. It's not going to get them rich or anything. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to cover a, another one that's similar to babysitting, but a different twist on it. So first I want to talk about swag bucks. Um, I focus on it more and more when it comes to what's considered beer money apps because it runs better. It's been a long-term uh, company that has stuck around even when others have come and gone. Um, they are a paywall site, so what that means is they have videos you can watch to, to earn points. You have surveys you can do. They have... Um, special offers where you can buy stuff and get rewarded uh, like a kickback in swag bucks you can uh, print coupons um, various different things that they have on there where you can earn but the the things I want to focus on is that with swag bucks and many of these beer money apps you have to be at least 13 years of age to legally do it um, even at 13 you still need your parents consent Mostly because of labor laws and potential tax concerns if, if they actually take it serious enough to where they can generate enough income in a year to justify claiming it. So with Swagbucks, what I want to focus on is you've got various video apps you can run on a mobile device like a phone or a tablet. Um, this one I'm looking at right now is the Encrave mobile app. It is one of the Swagbuck apps. It just sits here and runs these videos over and over and over. I highlight the Encrave app because over the last month or two, it's been by far the best app uh, out of the Swagbuck apps. It, it just runs really well, pays better, and uh, has been my pr preferred one. I will close it so I can show you a few of the others. There's Sportly, Lifestyles, uh, Movie Clips, Entertain Now, of course the Encrave, Swagbucks Watch, then the traditional Swagbucks app, and also Indie Music. All of those can watch videos they all pretty well look the same when you get into them. However, all of them, but the Encrave app, they only earn about eight swag bucks before they start telling you to keep watching for bonus. And then even after bonuses, that's not, you don't know how much bonus you can earn throughout the day before they just cap you off. So you got to pay attention to it. But the Encrave, it just keeps running until there's no ads to run. Sometimes it actually says that uh, it doesn't have any available in your area. That's not always true because. There's times I've got friends running the same app right next to me and theirs is working. Basically, sometimes Swagbucks just realizes you're earning too fast and they'll they'll cap you out a little bit and make you come back later. But most people ask me, how much can you really make doing this? And just running these video apps and, and maybe doing the printing the shopping coupons, which I just print to a, a file. I don't actually print them off on paper. Um, they... I, I average between $1.50 and $4 a day just running this mobile app and, and a few few things on their site. It's not going to get you rich, but by the end of the day, you know, you calculate over a month's time, even at just a dollar a day, that's 30 bucks. And to a kid, you know, that that's a pretty good chunk of change for them to earn that they can go spend on anything they want. 
um, because uh, they do have the option to do electronic gift cards like uh, Amazon or Walmart, or you could even go straight to PayPal, but they've got a ton of options for payout options there. Um, and it's pretty much just straight cash money, a, a certain single swag bucks worth a penny. So you can do the math real well. If you make 150 swag bucks in a day, you made a dollar 50. So, um, when things are going good and I'm making three to $4 a day, I mean, even $3 a day, you're talking $90 a month. So for a kid sitting at home, just letting their mobile device play these ads, that's pretty good. And, uh, not only that, but they don't actually have to watch the ads. They can just let it play, go off, do something else, come back, just make sure it's still running because sometimes apps crash. Sometimes it runs out of ads and you got to restart it. Um, maybe you're running the other mobile apps that, that cap out. And once they do, you want to switch to a different app. So definitely take a look at that. I'll, I'll put my, uh, my referral link in the comment section. Please use the referral link, not just for my sake, but for your own, because by using the referral link, you can actually earn an additional three dollars worth of swag bucks just for having my referral link in there. Um, so definitely get on that and, and try it out. Um, there's some other sites like uh, Hideout TV. They have a mobile app. They have their website. They have the a uh, a Fire or an, an app on the Amazon App Store that you can play on your Fire Stick. Um, that is just a straight up streaming site. It just streams videos and then you can cash out to other sites because there it, it ties into some of them. Um, they do have different options for that. Um, but it's a new one, but you can only use one device at a time streaming it. Uh, there's another one called Fruit Lab. Now Fruit Lab uh, is a little different. It's still a streaming site, kind of like YouTube, kind of like Hideout TV and all that. Um, but it focuses only on gaming. So if your kid's addicted to gaming, watching gaming on YouTube, go ahead and have them try out Fruit Lab. And they're quick clips. You you earn what they call pips. It's stupid naming, just like Fruit Lab was a stupid name. But um, the site runs well. You can earn. Um, and they let you cash out. Most of the options I saw on were like Google Play Store or, or stuff like that. It was didn't really give me the option for Amazon or or uh, Walmart, but it's more geared towards the gamers and it's something kids can, can run. So if they, if they want to buy their own mobile apps, that's a great way for them to earn them. And, uh, but give it a shot. There, there are several other uh, passive apps like that out there. However, a lot of them just don't work well. Um, but definitely give swag bucks a try, uh, give a few of the others a try if you really want to get into it. But the last thing I want to talk about is, um, uh, Something to really teach kids at, at any age is the babysitting thing. Um, most states, you know, won't let you let kids under a certain age babysit because, well, they want them to be old enough to know what to do, be, be strong enough to be able to do something about it, be able to get a hold of authorities if needed or, you know, just the basic common sense stuff. However, when a kid turns that age, whether it be 13, 14, 12 – whatever the state law is or, or even the current federal law, um, how do they get to know how to be a babysitter other than just a couple stereotypes that they saw on TV shows? Um, the best way to teach them how to be a babysitter is to hire them as a mommy aid at a younger age or a daddy aid. And what that means is they're not actually just watching your kid and then you go off on a date or, or go out to have some me time. What, what it is, is you have the child watch your kid while you're still at home. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, that's not much of a babysitter. Well, it's it's not meant to be a full-fledged babysitter. What, what, what it's used for these days is if you're like a single parent who constantly struggles to find time to get anything done, and as a single parent, you understand even finding time to take a shower sometimes – just doesn't happen when you got a young kid around. So as a mommy aide, they can sit and sit with your child, make sure that they're okay, make sure that they're safe. They don't have to really take care of them much, but just to kind of keep an eye on them. And what that does is it gives you some ample time to go do the things you need, whether it's go do your laundry and not have to stop every five minutes 
to check on the kid or to watch the kid or pull the kid away from the dog food or whatever it's trying to get into. It gives you some eyes on your child that can at least alert you. And what this does is it gives the the aid an opportunity to learn what it actually means to be responsible for another person. And they can ask you questions. They, they can ask for your assistance. So if they can't pick up the baby or the child because they're not strong enough, they can at least hold the child back and say, hey, come help me. Uh, it, it, it helps teach them. You, you can even have them learn how to change diapers. If they're not willing to do the poopy ones, have them change the, the pee ones. It's valuable to children that might one day want to have a babysitting job. And what this also does is it gives some rapport because when they are old enough to become a babysitter, they can actually go to the people that they're trying to advertise their service to and say, hey, I've been a mommy aide or a daddy aide since the age of eight, since the age of 10, and I've helped take care of kids all these times. And then you can even say, these are the people that I watched for. It's almost like building a resume at a young age and teaching the skills. I know I would be much comfortable having a child watch my children if I knew that they had experience doing it, if they helped take care of kids. If they're just some kid who just suddenly turned that age, I don't know if they're going to know their head from their butthole. So definitely, definitely give this an opportunity. And it doesn't even have to cost much because someone that young really doesn't need a whole lot of money. So instead of paying four, five, ten dollars an hour or whatever your normal babysitters in your area charge as a flat rate, um, consider just charging them a, or paying them a, a dollar or two an hour. Um, you can even have their parents pay you to watch their kid watch your kid. I mean, because in essence, that's what you're doing is supervising their child while they're supervising your child. So, um, it, it's definitely a, a a thing that people need to get wrapped around their heads because it, it's a valuable teaching opportunity and it's very helpful for people that just need a few extra hands. So that's it for now. Uh, I know it's been a very long video, but I just wanted to put it out there because there's a lot of people sharing like the different teaching aids from like ABC Mouse and Scholastic and all the others for teaching your kids for schooling stuff. But what I've found with my kids is they've already used a bunch of these utilities at their school. So they're not really learning more. They're just repeating the same thing they've already gone over. Um, but I wanted others to have this opportunity for the older kids to possibly uh, teach them a life skill that, that's beneficial to them because they can even do this after this this whole virus thing blows over this is something they can use year round even when they're at home any other time or if they're at school they you know they could leave these apps running at home while they're away even and some of them will keep running so um definitely give it a shot if you got any questions uh post them in the comments section if you uh, like the videos like them uh, share them if you like my channel, please subscribe. You don't realize how important that is to content providers like myself. Um, but if uh, you don't like it, you know that's fine too. Please leave those comments too because I'm always willing to have uh, suggestions to make things better. So until next time, have a good one.